This video was made using Chat GPT AI and Filmora text to speech, stock media, and Filmora's AI image search. These incredible structures are among the most impressive engineering feats of all time. And we're going to explore the process that made it all possible. The pyramids were built over 4,500 years ago, during a time when technology was far less advanced than it is today. But despite this, the Egyptians were able to construct massive structures that still stand today. Hey guys, that little clip on Egypt uh, was made using chat GPT to develop the script and then I used Filmora 12 to do a little text-to-speech and then use some Filmora uh, stock media to fill in the blanks there to make it look good and I'm gonna show you exactly step-by-step -step how I did that stay tuned okay to start your cash cow video you're first gonna need to log into your favorite browser and open chat Dot openai.com that is the website for chat gpt chat.openai.com you will need to sign up and log in to use this free currently free anyway application if you just look right down to the bottom of the screen here there's a text box you can type in anything you want to know now this it saves your history. So I have one here called Creating Pyramids in Egypt. Uh, I can start a new chat and we can go down here and start typing something. So let's make one today about uh, Starlink. Uh, that's a good one. So let's type in here. Uh, tell me how Starlink works. Let's see what it says. That's pretty good. Uh, I think we can definitely make a video out of that and uh, release it and make a lot of money. So let's try it. And you notice right up here in the top, it said how Starlink works, exactly what I typed. And I uh, saved that now so I can go back to the pyramid one. I can come back to this one anytime I want. All right, so what I'd like to do is first we're just going to copy this, all of it. We can edit it later. Okay, copy it. Okay, so we're done with that for now. Let's go ahead and just minimize it and get it out of the way. So go ahead and start yourself a new project. Open a folder. You can right-click it. You can name that folder something if you want. Uh, let's call it Starlink. This will help you keep yourself a little organized. And in that, in that folder, uh, we're going to put some images, some stock images of satellites, outer space, rocket launches, Things of that nature. We'll do all that in just a minute. And that file that you just copied, the, um, the text that you just copied out. So you're going to need to go to your desktop for that or wherever you want to put it. And uh, I'm on Windows, so I'm just going to open a new text document. I'm going to call it starlink.text. I'll drag it over here. Uh, and then we're going to open it and paste in everything that we just got. And this is where you want to do your editing at. So uh, if there's anything in here you don't want text to speech to say, or this is just too long, uh, this is where you'll uh, change it at. For, for now, I'm just going to leave it exactly the same. So I'm going to save it. We're just going to leave it open right here on the screen because we'll need to reference this again a few different times. So we'll just put that really big right on our desktop, and we're ready to go. Let's go back to Filmora and start the project. There's a couple ways you can begin this. You can start with that audio and then sync up some images to it, or you can start with some images and sync up some of that to that. I'm going to start with the audio. So for that, it's very easy. We're just going to go to titles. I'm going to choose default title. You can choose anything you want, but default title will be the easiest for you. I'm going to set it up a, a, couple, a little bit high on purpose. I'll show you why in a minute. So first, we're just going to go with the um, first sentence and we're going to copy that out of there and we're going to keep this file alive and we're just going to go right here and paste it in okay it doesn't matter 
what it looks like. It doesn't even matter if it's all on the screen. The only thing that matters is it says what you want it to say. I do suggest you really edit that text document pretty clearly. Cut it down some if you want uh, before you convert. With the default title highlighted, we're going to choose text to speech. Text to speech is not free. Uh, you get a couple characters for free, I think, and then you have to purchase more characters. Now, I have personally done a search of the internet and found as many text to free, uh, as many text to speech programs as I could possibly find. Uh, a lot of them do say free until you go there. And the, what that really meant was free to download or free to try. I've never found any that are free, and the ones that are out there are very expensive. Compared to Filmora, it is not expensive at all, and I'm going to show you that price in just a second. Double-click on these to figure out what voice you want. Uh, let's go with Lily. Wondershare. Creativity simplified. Okay. Well, Lily was good. Well, how about Kate? Yes. Wondershare. Creativity simplified. Yeah, I like Kate. Now, if you think Kate's talking too slow, you can speed her up. If you think Kate's a little too high-pitched for you, you can adjust that right here as well. Um, I'm going to leave everything alone and go ahead and pick my language. Uh, I am going to choose United States because I want Kate here to talk in English. Let's go. Okay. It's scanning the information that's in this title. There are 298 characters. It does count punctuation and things like that as a character. And before we leave this screen, I want to show you how much it costs to buy more. So, you can get 100,000 characters a month for $3.99. You can get 200,000 characters a month for only $6.99. You can cancel this at any time. Uh, this is the best deal on the internet that I can find. If you found better, let me know. Let everybody know. Put it in the comments. Anyway, let's get on back to what we're doing. And it's done. It's finished. And it's already on the timeline. We can just go ahead and just X out of that if we want. And there it is. It's done. And now you can just simply click the title and delete it. It's gone. And let's listen. Starlink is a satellite-based internet service provided by SpaceX, the private space exploration company founded by Elon Musk. The goal of Starlink is to provide high-speed internet access to areas where... Okay, so we don't need to hear it all. And um, there it is. You now have a, a transcribed text into, I believe this is, a, yeah, this is an MP3. And we're going to stretch that timeline out a little bit. And I'm going to show you something brand new with Filmora 12. Just came out about two days ago. And we'll just start right off with that. It's called AI Image. So let's say you're over here in the stock media section. And you just can't quite find that picture you want. Well, there's a brand new tool for you guys. And it's called AI I image. So we're going to be using a lot of AI today. Choose your resolution. I'm just going to go with 1024 by 1024. And with no less than 10 words, meaning more than 10 words, you want to click right here in this box and describe what we're looking for. Now, what I'd like to find is a, um, a Starlink, uh, a satellite launch. So an Elon Musk satellite launch with blue clouds in the background okay well let's let's just type that elon musk satellite i think what it's doing is it's underlining words that it doesn't think are right like elon so we'll probably take yeah so let's take elon out and uh just leave the word musk probably isn't going to know what that is either but let's give it a shot and see what we get so if you just can't find what you're looking for this may help you out it may not bring in the image you want at all but it's just a tool Another tool for the belt. So it says, working on generating your exclusive image. Okay, so I got clouds, I got ocean, and I've got a launch. I like it. Let's download it. Please pay attention to this right here. Number of images left to create is four. I don't know if they're going to change that. I don't know if they're going to charge for it. But for now, there it is. So let's drag it down to the timeline. And now, let's see if this looks a little more like a... Okay, well, first thing we want to do is crop to fit. Um, no. Nope. I'm going to undo that, control Z, control Z. I don't want to crop to fit. Um, 
I want to just scale this. I want to leave. Yeah, there we go. I want to leave the, um, the smoke in the clouds right there. Let's see what it looks like. Starlink is a satellite-based internet service provided by SpaceX. And right there. And that's it. That's where I would cut it and move on to the next one. Uh, for that one, I would just probably go over here to uh, videos. Let's see if we can find a video that says Starlink. Now, that's a copyrighted name, so it may not show anything. We can see what we get. Starlink apparently is some kind of a bird. It's showing me a bunch of birds. <laughs> That's funny. Let's go with uh, satellite again. And this time I'm on photos. So yeah, so this is this is good. That's a perfect satellite picture. So this is so you guys get the idea how you can do this. So you ask Chat GPT something, uh, and I'm going to show you something else. We're going to go back to that in a minute, and then you uh, you take that information, you transcribe that text into a voice. You find a whole bunch of stock images. Now, obviously, not, this isn't going to make you a ton of money if you just put a piece of junk together. So you put together an actual script. You really script it out, and you spend some time on it. And uh, you can make it something out of nothing pretty easy. Let's go one more time here. ...by SpaceX, the private space exploration company founded by Elon Musk. So there you go. So you got the idea. I'm going to take you back, and I want to show you something else. So we're going to go new chat. Takes it out. This time we're going to go a little more specific. Write me a script about how the game of football was created. Okay, just came up with that off the top of my head since we just had the Super Bowl. There we go. The birth of football. Fade in. You see, I did ask it for a script. So fade in. Got an exterior shot going on, narrow, narrator, it's a voiceover. Walter, young man, Walter, narrator, narrator. So it is actually writing me a script. Fade out. And there you go. So that's how you can do an even better one. Now this could potentially bring you some money. This one, if you had all kinds of shots of Super Bowls over the years, football players that you have permission to use, of course. I'm talking about public domain stuff. Uh, don't ever try to put something on YouTube you don't allow to use because they're just going to take your video down or take your money away, one or the other. So there you go. This is beautiful because this one's got narr narrator voiceover. So these are the ones you would you would transcribe. And uh, for this one, I would probably use the male voice and fade in, fade out is perfect because that is exactly what you could do with Filmora. You could fade in at Village Square. Uh, you'd show a, a group of men, young men kicking an object around, then you start talking, and then a man, Walter, <laughs> so you can call him Walter if you want, or Joe or Billy Bob, whatever you want, and that is it, guys. I'm going to take you back to Filmora right now, and that is it, and that is how you can do it, and let's not forget uh, some more little tricks real fast. Uh, for this satellite picture, I would definitely crop to fit it, and I like my still images to move. So I would highlight the clip. I would go up here to scale and position and turn on keyframing. I'd go over here to the end of the clip. I would scale in just a little. It doesn't take much movement to give the impression that, that you've got a camera, a dolly, or something like that. And then I would also slowly move it to the right. And that's it. I just keyframed it. Two keyframes at the same time. Watch how much difference that made. It. It's going to make it like a video. The private space exploration company founded by Elon Musk. The goal of that Starlink is how you get people's attention. So there's one final thing I do want to show you. Uh, we'll just stick right on this one and we'll start it right about there. Uh, right here where it says text, you got quick text. If you click it, you got quick text and quick 3D text. Uh, if you want to put uh, a word there, highlight it. Um, I think I still got satellite in my clipboard. Yep, satellite. Uh, just shrink it down a little bit. And let's just pretend like the satellite has a name. Satellite um, XX34, something like that. Let's slide that over, bring it down. Uh, you can pick all kinds of presets down here. You can change the size. Um, there's all kinds of stuff you could do. And if you don't want to go that route, 
Um, you can also just simply go up to titles and pick a, um, a lower third and just have a nice little box going on down there. But I, I just did this Space way. Exploration Company founded by Elon Musk. The nice. goal of Starlink is to provide high-speed internet access to... Okay. And that's it. I want to show you how you can use Chat, GPT, and Filmora to very, very, very quickly and inexpensively put together a video. You could literally do the History of Football video, I would say, in under 30 minutes and have it absolutely professional looking. Get your SEO right. Get your search engine optimization, your keywords, your hashtags. Really do your research on that stuff using uh, TubeBuddy, uh, whatever, uh, VidIQ, anything you got. And uh, don't just throw it out there. Because always remember one thing, and I'll leave you with this comment. YouTube doesn't really push your videos out. Your videos get pulled in. Just remember that. YouTube looks for users who have an interest in something you just did. Or they see a hashtag that's been used a lot. They'll move it up into the... Uh, you up into the higher priority algorithm. So more more of a if it's it sucks it in to places they think it should go. It doesn't really push it out. So you got to be careful with that side of it. And you can do something uh, an eight minute video uh, in just a few minutes and put it out there and give excellent information and make it look super super professional. And that's all I got to say about that. We'll see you real soon on the next video.